Hey guys, Master Ningen here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so, yeah, I uh, I posted a poll on my Twitter page and on the uh, community tab over on the channel. And uh, we're going to go through the results here. So, there was a lot of discussion earlier today about JP and Global again, because JP just got an update uh, with the new stone subscription similar to the global one i think the options are slightly more limited compared to the global one but this obviously opens up the door for that sort of thing to increase in the future potentially for them to get the full offering of pilaf trove and all that kind of stuff so with that being another feature that has come to jp and something that global players often mention as being one of the advantages for global the fact that it was only on our version a lot of people were making comments about like less and less reasons now for people to be playing global so i decided to put out this poll and uh, as you can see from the title i and i'm sure many people out there going to be very very surprised by this result so i even put in the question i feel like this is going to be an obvious result but let's see so global players if you could do a one-time only transfer to switch your account over to jp and keep everything you have but you could never go back would you please give your reasons in the comments i feel like i always have to put that because every time i put one of these polls because i want to do a video and i'm like answer this question like yes no and why so many people will just answer the poll and not say why and then you can't really do a video that's just like okay everybody said yes so i appreciate everybody who did indeed comment there's 470 votes but i'm pretty sure there's not 470 comments but we will go through them and uh yeah you can see 48.7 percent said yes 51.3 percent said no so no actually won and uh, yeah, I'm sure you could probably guess like what I was going for with this uh, opening line. I really thought that the winning result was going to be yes. Um, I wasn't sure how clear the margin was going to be. Like, you know, I didn't think it was going to be like 90 to 10 percent or something. But I did really think that yes was going to win. So we're going to go through some of the comments. I'm going to go through uh, some Twitter ones here and then go through some of the ones from the YouTube uh, post as well. I know some people did vote or comment on both, but... I want to give both of them like an equal shot and uh, make sure you are following me on Twitter and subscribe to the channel because I like to do these kind of things every now and then and make discussion videos out of them. So if you want your opinion to be represented in the video as well, make sure you're following me so you can see those posts. So first of all, we have prices are more costly on JP than global. Uh, I've heard that quite a lot from because obviously a lot of the big content creators uh, are in like America and they play the JP version um, and the um, exchange rate, I guess, if you will, for uh, buying stones on JP is a little bit more expensive. Um, so without English language option to pick means no reason to play because I don't have the time to learn Japanese uh, and no foresight to what is coming. Because one thing, the language barrier is a huge thing that is going to come up in the comments all the time. I did actually post a tweet this morning before I made this poll saying that people really do underestimate how big the language barrier is for a lot of players. Um, because, yeah, you can get used to the game. Like, even me, for example, if I load up my JP side account, which I barely ever log into, like, I pretty much only ever log into it when it's the anniversary, just to look at some of the hype stuff. But, like, I, I know how to genu generally navigate the menus and stuff, because obviously I play the game all the time. But when it comes to very off-the-cuff things, like, oh, I want to jump into this event, like, maybe I have to do a Dokkan event to awaken one of my characters, I spot, like, a unit on the friends list or something that kind of jogs my memory, and I'm like, hey, you know what? For this stage, I want to run this category, like, Space Traveling Warriors or um, Revenge or something, right? Um, and then you open up the category list, and then you need to open up another tab and open up the wiki, and double check what the kanji is for that particular category so you can find it in the list um, and stuff like that that's only a minor inconvenience to some people but some people really don't want to do that and like we see it now even in videos from some of the bigger creators who've been playing JP for ages they'll be in the middle of event and they'll check a unit's passive and then have to double check on a separate window on the wiki just to confirm what exactly it is that that unit's passive is or like what links are activated and all that kind of stuff so the language barrier really is a big thing for a lot of people and you see that in the comments quite a lot so 
we got another one here. I would. JP treats their player base better. Updates come out quicker. And from the look of things, they have a better setup for their shops. Now, technically, the update's coming out quicker. Well, actually, it says quickly, which is, I guess, a different thing. I was going to say, technically, the updates don't come out quicker because in terms of the quality of life updates, Global usually gets those on a much quicker schedule than the actual gap between the banners. Um, but obviously, as the primary version, yes, all the new updates come out on JP first. There is this thing about, like, JP treating the player base better. Like, <sighs> global, that's the main thing you'll see a lot in the comments as well. Like, people literally straight up in some of the comments say that, like, they think the devs hate global. Um, and obviously, there is a difference between things like the compensation and stuff like that. But, I mean, I, I can't speak as to what the real reasons for all that kind of stuff is. But there definitely seems to be a lot of sentiment, probably among disappointed global players, that uh, the devs like just hate JP, uh, hate global. But there you go. So, yeah, see, Hazing can't deal, can't deal with the language barrier. It's just one of those things. You can play the game perfectly fine. But, like, it's just those on the whim, like, spur of the moment. Like, you just want to be able to open up the, uh, the unit's passive or open up, like, the category screens. Uh, all that other stuff. Open up the missions when there's a new celebration. It's so much better to just be able to very quickly open that up and know exactly what it says rather than have to like, you know, when the official Dokon uh, page posts like the new stats for a new unit, we have to wait for people like Goresh or Talon to translate them and all that kind of stuff. So... Uh, Smart must Prime, shout out to the boy. Personally, wouldn't. The main reason I didn't to begin with is because being in Japanese. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, but only because of the language barrier. Um, if I was able to keep everything I had but just switch over to JP, absolutely. I would much prefer the ability to experience the new units right away rather than wait for them on global when the hype for them has died out by the time they roll around. So this is one of the things that's the biggest thing for me. Now, obviously, I am a global main, um, but I've been open about this in the past. Like, when I was first introduced to Dokon, I didn't know there was a JP version. It was the first gacha game I ever played. Um, and by the time I got really invested and had started to spend a little bit of money and start watching YouTubers, that was when I found out there was a JP version. And at that point, I wasn't really that bothered. And then, of course, once the differences between the versions became more and more apparent, and then I started my own channel and all that kind of stuff, by then I was in way too deep. Like, I would never give up my global account to start again on JP. Um, even if I like was somehow able to buy like an endgame level JP account, it's not my account. Like, my global account has been grown from day one, from rank one, all the way up to where it is now. Um, but yeah, in terms of the hype, like, as a content creator, obviously, when a new unit comes out, all the hype is on, like, the JP uh, version. And everyone, even global players, will watch videos of the new unit that comes out on JP. And then four months later, when that unit comes out on global, obviously, the global player base is hyped for that unit. But JP players have already seen and played with that unit for like a couple of months. So the overall hype in the community is definitely a lot lower whenever stuff comes out on global. Unless it is obviously like a global first or a same time celebration. So, And then we've got, I'm in my second semester of learning Japanese and I'm nowhere near being proficient enough to be comfortable with JP. Exactly, another language barrier. Uh, our boy AC, I remember he did switch a long time ago, um, which is fair. Uh, I don't care enough, I'm just here for the fun. <laughs> well, yeah. A lot of people, it's really they're really not that fussed either. That's the other thing. A lot of people really do take the Global versus JP stuff, like, overly seriously. But not a lot of people really care about it. So, uh, our boy DBZ Blaze says SBR. Obviously, that's a big thing for me as well. You guys know I love Super Battle Road. We're always behind with the available stages, which really sucks. A um, couple more. Another comment about the language barrier. Um, and yeah, this is what I'm saying, like, somebody who's had their account for ages, <laughs> bye bye global, there you go, absolutely no, I already struggle trying to find categories in English, so there's no way of switching to JP, prices are higher, so again, stuff that we've mentioned already, uh, a lot of people did mention, of course, things like the tickets that we get, uh, discount multis, all that kind of stuff, stuff that's in the PLAF trove, which obviously could be coming to JP soon, but isn't at the moment, so there definitely are still a few benefits, um, definitely a bunch of people in here saying yes, but, uh, tickets and having foresight into future characters alone would keep me on global, because people often downplay foresight because JP often does, uh, sorry, global often changes, like, the units that are on banners, 
or sometimes they change the order of banners a little bit sometimes you know easy a's get delayed and everybody cries about it like kale and Khalifla. but the foresight does still exist even if it changes slightly so like the big one for me uh especially as a content creator and i know a lot of people do this as well they like to have the new shiny units at level 10 links and all that kind of stuff a big thing is for easy a's so when you find out like a random unit is going to get an easy a like for example most recently the agl go 10 and the physical trunks on jp i would never link level those units before but now that I know they're getting an easy A and they're going to be really good on the teams that they run on, maybe I would consider doing that. And obviously, even for like the ones that we do know are coming, like the 120 leads and stuff like that, as soon as we saw like Gogeta's easy A announced, I started link leveling him. Um, so there is still some foresight. It's just not as... It's not exactly the same as it was a couple of years ago where we literally knew like the versions were pretty much beat for beat on the same schedule just four months apart. Um, but it does still exist and it can still be useful. So, <laughs> someone pointing out here, physical Goku Black and the AGL Angel Cell are actually better on global. So technically, if you switched your account over, those units would be nerfed. It's kind of funny. Obviously, no one really uses Angel Cell and I don't think many people use physical Goku Black anymore, but that is actually true. Um, but yeah, another one of these, they hate global and adore JP. Um, I got a J JP account, not having it in English is less accessible, yep. Uh, don't speak Japanese. I would do this in a heartbeat. So you can see there's definitely mixed responses in the comments and the results were very, very close. But I was definitely not expecting them to be as close as they are, let alone the fact that um, No was actually going to win. So I voted no, it'd be nice to be constantly updated with fresh content, but I don't want to constantly translate missions. So really you can see the real big thing really is the language barrier to people. So I wonder if uh, if we rephrase this poll, I keep right clicking my mouse by accident. If we rephrase this poll so that it was uh, switching over to JP, but then there was an option to have it all in English. I wonder how many people would change. I imagine a lot of people probably would because the language barrier seems to be the big sticking point like a few people have mentioned like the um foresight and tickets and all that kind of stuff global has more memes <laughs> um staying on global so I'm not too off guard when it comes to farming ahead of time um so yeah there's a lot of mixed uh things actually in the comments here but Let's have a look over on the actual YouTube post. So again, look at this. I know a lot of people will vote in both. But yeah, 49% said yes and 51% said no. Again, both polls got around four to 500 votes. So it's a pretty decent sample size. And uh, again, we've got language barrier, language barrier, um, like language barrier. <laughs> yeah, obvious result. And at the time of that comment, it was 50-50, which is really not what I was expecting. But... Yeah, it really does seem to be the language barrier is the uh, big thing for almost everyone. Um, a lot of people that said yes, obviously it is because they want to get the new units as soon as they come out. Um, discounts and tickets again, and yeah, Foresight. Um, I believe both versions of the games are going to merge by the seven year anniversary. It'd be interesting to see if they do in the future. This is another thing I did tweet out earlier that whilst I do still argue that there are benefits to being on global, like what I was just saying about foresight still being a thing, tickets, all that kind of stuff. Um, if it was up to me, like if I literally had to flip the switch now, if it was up to me, I would just have both of the games be in line at this point. Again, part of that is for selfish reasons because it's more hype for me as a content creator to get the new units as soon as they come out rather than four months later. And uh, having the versions lined up is much better than switching my account across because then obviously everything is still in English. So there you go. This is the only one. I really wanted to make sure I found this one. I don't know if this is the only person in the world. Let me know in the comments down below. But yes, but in reverse, I want my JP on global. So I'm assuming that probably is just due to the language barrier then. Because obviously JP gets the units first and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, language barrier really is a big one for a lot of people. Um, and the other thing I've get, I guess, to realise as well with the question, if they did bring out the option for you to switch your account between the versions, the one thing you'd have to think about is the fact that you would then miss out on anything. Like if you switched your global account over to JP now, you would have missed all of the sixth anniversary stuff. 
And we know that those units don't usually come back until like way later in the year um, for like the Tanabata Festival or something like that. So that's the other thing you've got to think about is if you could switch your account across, you'd have to do it at like a really well-timed moment so that you don't miss a whole bunch of stuff. So obviously right before the anniversary is probably the best time to do it, but there you go. So... Language barrier, foresight, uh, language barrier, language barrier. So yeah, that's that's really the big one is the language barrier. A lot of people like the tickets and the discounts and the foresight. So there you go. I mean, regardless of what you think of both of the versions and how they're handled, a lot of people do appreciate the benefits that Global does give compared to JP. So it is nice to see that because like I said, in the way I stated the question, I really thought that yes was going to win by quite a considerable amount because obviously a lot of the discourse online is usually around people complaining that global is not as good as jp but when it comes down to some of those important factors like the language barrier the foresight the some of the benefits that we do still get like the pilaf trove the tickets and stuff like that it does actually seem that global's player base is a lot more loyal than i had originally expected so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section uh, sorry there was no face cam today i recorded this after just getting up i've just finished like a whole week of night shifts and uh, I, I really couldn't be bothered to deal with using my webcam today so probably be back for the next video but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments if you didn't vote in the poll or you didn't see your comment referenced here obviously i apologize if i didn't get to it let us know your opinions down below in the comments section and uh, yeah, I guess it'll be interesting to see what happens in the future. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.